I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. He's going to propose to me. Hey guys, welcome to my newest video. Thank you for clicking on it. What is going on guys? Welcome to my newest video. I am a little bit sick, so I apologize if I sound sick and if I sniff a little bit throughout the video. I'm trying to get over it, but I still wanted to put a video out for you guys, so... Let's just go ahead and do it. So as some of you guys may know, I am engaged. Me and Carlos got engaged in November. And a lot of you, once you guys found out that I, I was engaged, wanted to know how he proposed. So I guess I'm basically going to do my engagement story or uh, how he proposed, uh, my proposal story. So with this video, I kind of wanted to start from like the very beginning of like all of it from my perspective, starting from even like before he proposed with him acting weird, you know? The day before he proposed, we were at the gym. And I remember we had his um, nephew and niece with us, and one of us, one of them needed like their diaper changed. And he basically was, he wasn't there at the time, and his brothers were looking for diapers, which are normally in uh, Carlos's backpack. And apparently they were like looking for it, and they couldn't find it. And then once he got back from his run, I had told Carlos that his brothers were like looking for diapers for Eileen. And he was like, you didn't look through my backpack, did you? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I, I just thought he was joking. I didn't think he was like being serious or like mean. He was like, you didn't go through my backpack, did you? You're not allowed to go through my backpack. And I was like, no, I didn't go through your backpack. Relax. But little did I know that that's because my ring was inside of there. And if I had looked through it, I probably would have saw the ring and I would have known and then I would have had to like keep a secret. But then if we fast forward to the next day, we went and got coffee at a local coffee shop and we were drinking our coffee. He was like staring at me and I'm like, what? And he's like... I have a surprise for you and I'm like, ooh, a surprise. Like who doesn't like surprises? So I was super, super excited. He don't do surprises very often. So the fact that he surprised me, I was like super stoked. We had planned like a really, really, really nice date night in Redondo Beach at one of our um, favorite restaurants. It's called Tony's on the Pier. And it's, very, it's just like a really good seafood restaurant that I really love because they have like really good crab. And he's like, oh, we should dress up nice tonight and like, you know, like you should wear a dress and I'll wear like nice clothes and I was like, okay. Like I thought it was weird. I didn't really think too much of, of it. Like I didn't really think into what he was trying to do. I was just like, ooh, okay, that sounds like fun. That sounds fun. And then uh, once we were back at the house and I was getting ready, he was like, oh, I have my surprise for you. And I'm like, okay. And he showed me this beautiful necklace, which completely threw me off. Because obviously if I thought this was a surprise, I didn't really think that he was going to propose to me later. But this is the really, really pretty necklace that it gave me. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It's like a rose gold little cute necklace. Me being like the nosy girl I was, I was like, how much was this? And he was like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, who doesn't know how much something was? I don't know. That's just like, that's just, we talk about that kind of stuff all the time. So it wasn't like a weird question, but I thought it was weird that he didn't give me like an answer. I was like, what do you mean you don't know how much something was? Anyways. So then we ended up going out to dinner. We both looked really nice. I wore like a really pretty dress and he wore like a really nice like button up and good pants. And I wore heels, which for those of you guys who don't know, I don't really wear dresses and heels that often. So it was a pretty big deal. And we had a really, really nice dinner. And he, he was just kind of like staring at me a lot, which I thought was weird. I was just like, we were just sitting there having a nice dinner and he was being super nice and sweet. Not that he's not always nice and sweet, but he's being like extra nice and sweet, you know, telling me how like beautiful I was. He was just being really, really cute, and I was like, wow. And I just thought that he like gave me this pretty necklace, and I was wearing it with my pretty dress, and I was like, ooh, nice. But anyways, after we had our really nice dinner, we basically, we walked out onto the pier, because the, um, the restaurant's on Redondo Beach Pier, and we walked out on the pier, and it was kind of dark out by then, and he was like, oh, let's go over to this, to that, to that, like, that well-lit area right there, and we can take pictures. And I was like, what? This boy, like, wants to take pictures on the pier with me? Like... It's not really like him, I feel like, to, to act actively say, hey, let's go take pictures. So I was like, ooh, okay, I go take nice pictures. So I took some pictures on the pier, it was really pretty, but it was really, really cold out. So I was like, okay, what are they go home now? <laughs> and then basically uh, from there, he was like, oh, how about you sit down on this bench? And like, he gave me his jacket to like, you know, put over me because it was freezing outside. And he was like, this is where it got like super serious because then I could tell something was kind of off. I was like, what is going on? And he basically was like standing and I was sitting on like this nice bench with my jackets on and he was like just then he just kind of like poured his heart out to me he basically was telling me how much he loves me and that he he wants me to know that he always wants to be with me for the rest of my life and I was like I know that I know that like this is stuff that I already knew like you know because we, we talked about our future so much I already knew that he was the person that I was gonna be with for the rest of my life and I was like I know that I know that and 
I could just kind of tell where he was going because I could just tell by the vibe, you know, and he looked really nervous and I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. He's going to propose to me. And he basically then he just like we were saying that and we were hugging and then and I started crying because I basically knew what was going on. I started crying. And then he got down on one knee and he was like, from there he just asked, will you marry me? <laughs> and it was honestly like the sweetest thing ever to me because I was completely surprised. Which I didn't think he was going to be able to do. He, I didn't think he'd be able to surprise me. Um, it was a very emotional moment. We, you know, I was crying and I was like, of course, yes. And we hugged and we gave him a kiss and it was just, it was like the sweetest thing ever. Because I, I honestly thought that when he proposed to me, that I would know when he was going to propose to me. Because like I, I thought I would just know for some reason I didn't think he could keep a secret. And he totally threw me off with this. Because I was like, oh, he got me a pretty necklace. How sweet. And the backstory with the necklace is that because he bought this ring, they basically gave him the necklace for free. Just as like a, like a, whatever, like a gift almost. Like, oh, you buy this pretty ring, we'll give you the pretty necklace. And so that's why he didn't know how much it was because they basically, they gave it to him. And so that's why he couldn't tell me because I, I thought it was so weird. I'm like, who doesn't know how much something was? But anyways, yeah, so that is our engagement story. It was honestly like the sweetest thing ever. And then afterwards, you know, we told all of our family and I slowly started telling my friends. And just from there, it took about two weeks to finally tell everyone. Yeah, it was a very beautiful story. And it's something that I'm always going to keep with me because it was just really sweet. And he got like the prettiest ring ever to me. I mean, we had kind of talked about rings before. And I kind of told him what I liked, and he basically got exactly what I liked. One of the main things I wanted was I wanted these twisties. I wanted it to twist like that. I don't know why, I just always thought it was so pretty. So he basically got exactly what I wanted and completely surprised me with it. And <laughs> um, Yeah, so I think that's it. Is that how story time works? I feel like this is like my real first story time. For those of you guys who don't know, we do plan to get married sometime in 2019. Hopefully by springtime, I want to get married in the spring. I don't really know how to plan a wedding. So I'm hoping that my mom and my sister can help me a lot and help me get it like organized and all that good stuff. But we're definitely super excited. And with that, I'm going to end this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below about what other videos you guys want to see me do. Especially with like me being engaged. What certain videos do you guys want to see from me and from Carlos? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.